Hello everyone, it is Caitlin, and today we are making sealing wax in a variety of period colors and also sealing wafers. Um, all sorts of ways to seal up our letters when we're doing living history. The recipe I'm using comes from 1822, and um, it says to make with sealing wax, take one pound of beeswax, three ounces of fine turpentine, and one ounce of rosin, finely powdered. When they are well melted, um, and the dross is taken off, put in it the red lead or vermilion and stir them together till they are well incorporated. And you may, when it grows a little cool, make that into any form that you please. So that's going to make a lot of wax. I'm going to third this recipe. So I have about a third of a pound of beeswax here. I'm going to pour that into a bowl. And then I have this rosin, which um, I'm not entirely sure if this is the rosin they were meaning, but it's the rosin I could find on Amazon. It's essentially what um, musicians use to, for like violin strings and cello strings and that sort of thing. So I'm going to grind this into a fine powder, like I said, and move this back. Break it up first. Oh, it breaks up pretty easily. which is breaking up pretty easily, so that's a good thing. have that and then it calls for three ounces of turpentine which I'm going to use olive oil it's another oil that the recipe in another area calls for and so I just figured that would be easiest to use than turpentine so if it recipe calls for three ounces and I am using a third of the recipe that essentially means six teaspoons or an eighth of a cup which I cannot find my cup measurement so we're going to use two tablespoons on the stove here. Hopefully get this in there. And I guess we're gonna wait for that to melt. I'm not entirely sure how much this is going to make. We're gonna find out together. And these are basically the molds I'm gonna use. I figured they are about the size of ceiling wax sticks. They're probably a little bit bigger than the ones I've seen but it's the closest to the size I could find, and I didn't feel like making my own mold. So we're going to go with this, and I'm hoping for at least one of each of the colors we're making today. So we're gonna make one blue, one yellow, one green, and one black. And then um, I have a whole nother set of this exact quantities of stuff to make the red. When the red comes in, we'll just make four reds. Because red's most likely what I'm going to use, but it'll be nice to have the other colors too. I'm going to tip the mixture off the stove because it is all dissolved. I need about, I measured it, about nine tablespoons to fit it into um, the mold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very shiny. It's probably not what I want. I'm gonna grab a little chalk because I know from experience did not knock down the glossiness. I can add a little chalk. Try this a little bit. That's all I need. This is it's just trial and error at this point. And if I don't like it, next time I'll do something different. This doesn't seem to help too terribly much but let's go ahead and pour it into the mold. Okay, so I have the blue one done. Let's do yellow. I'm 
surprisingly this turned out just to be a, more of a gold color because of the resin already in there and the beeswax, which I'm okay with. not to get any on the blue side. Alright, we're gonna do the green next. Here's green pigment. Let's go ahead and add in more wax. This is gonna be an interesting color because of the gold wax part. How it's gonna mix with pigment. Actually as not as ugly as I thought it was gonna be. The blue is already very solid. It's only been a few minutes. All right, I think that's clean enough to put the black in. three are dry now so and we're gonna work on the red sealing wax so I have in here we're gonna make double the amount of red that we made for the other colors because red's gonna be the one that's used most often so I have two of the little resin packs in here and about 302 grams of beeswax century they would have used vermilion or cinnabar to um, color their red sealing wax. That is um, actually currently known as mercury sulfide and is highly poisonous. So we will not be using vermilion today to color our sealing wax. Um, I actually did look into it. I couldn't find it for sale, probably because it's poisonous. And so we're going to have to fudge this a little bit. I tried buying cochineal which, um, if you've seen the video on watercolors, then you know my issues with cochineal is I got purple and not red. Not really sure what that's about still. So cochineal wasn't going to work, so I'm going to have to use a non-period correct colorant um, because the originals are either not working out for me or poisonous. And I'd rather not kill people with my sealing wax. Particularly because this is going to be, of course, uh, melted, and so there'll be fumes um, going up into the air. So definitely don't want any poisonous. So what I have is mica powder, which is a natural substance from what I understand. It's just like a type of rock. Um, and I put it in this nice little pretty jar. And it's kind of shiny, but I haven't noticed the shininess after I've mixed it into things. Particularly if I add a little bit of chalk to it, um, so which we might do. I just add just a couple, maybe a teaspoon or so of chalk just to make sure that this isn't going to be super shiny. And it's the same, you know, same basic stuff that we used um, for the black sealing wax. Once this sits down, we get to work on sealing wafers, which I'm going to use actual food coloring for the sealing wafers because you lick those. And I couldn't really find anything I felt comfortable licking. I forgot to bring my food coloring today, so let's do that tomorrow. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter to y'all because y'all get to see the video at the same time, regardless of what day I film it on. It's a little hot. I guess it is melted wax. I stick my finger into it. It's getting to that melted point. And I'm not entirely sure how much powder to add. I'm just going to add some until it looks red. Thank you, pretty red. I might add a little chalk if it turns pink, we're going to add a little bit more. It's really getting pretty hot. I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. Let it cool 
slightly, preferably not bubbling anymore before we put into our molds. Chocolate really dissolve into that. That might have some little chalk bits, but I think overall it'll be okay. Alright, so there's the mold. Let's go ahead and pour it in. It is nice and red. That looks good. So a little bit left to top off these others. Okay, so I have here a about a cup of water, and I tried to dissolve the sea glass or icing glass, however you pronounce it in the water, it would not dissolve, so I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or what's going on. So we're not going to use the icing glass. I'm going to heat this up to a tolerable temperature so that we can dissolve some gum arabic. Not quite boiling, but hot water. I have gum arabic powder. Uh, put that in there. And this usually takes a little while to dissolve. More or less dissolved. So I'm going to start putting some flour into this bowl. I'm not entirely sure how much because, again, we don't have any quantities. I definitely don't want a dough-like consistency. That may have been a little too much flour. want it more of a battery consistency. So I want it to be really, really thin. I also have here some egg whites, and this is called, I think, glare. The stuff that comes off the egg whites. Let me just fold this in. Try to do it kind of gently. Alright, it's pretty soupy now. And color it. Let's start off with the Maybe the blue. And I'm just using regular food colorings because um, some of the ones that they would have used are poisonous. And um, I couldn't find them. I actually did look. Probably wish I wouldn't have used them, but I still looked. And the rest of them are either difficult to get or I still don't feel comfortable putting them in my body. So I think I'm going to turn on the heat here on the pan. I think while we're waiting for this, I'm going to go ahead and mix up another color. Let's do some yellow. I think I'm going to make the most red, because red was, I think, the most popular. Kind of like red ceiling wax is used the most. I think that's a good yellow color compared to the originals. Maybe a little, um, egg yolk, really. I think theirs was a little more golden, but I think that's acceptable. Color the rest of this red. Okay, that's pretty red. Looks very much like cinnabar red. We're gonna add a little bit more. Start with the yellow. It's getting pretty hot up there. Really, I kind of have it on medium low. Okay. I'm gonna try to. I want it even, but I don't want it. I want it pretty thin. I might need to put this in the stand mixer because there's little bits everywhere. Oops. Okay. The bottom though isn't too bad. I think it looks about on the bottom. It was just the top. I'm going to try to just cut a couple out. They're easy to cut out still. I don't know if I need to put them back on now that they are cut out. Or wait for them to dry out. Definitely thicker than what I would consider a wafer to be. That side doesn't look very good. This side does. Um, I'm going to use my stand mixer to mix this up really well before we do another one. Let's see if I can just pour a little bit. And I'm like... Thank you. 
fluffy, but not as bad. That is definitely flatter. I might stick these in the oven that they're cut out. I might stick them in the oven after they've been cut out. Just till they're like really crispy. Oh, they're cooked through. I just want to get them really wafery. Okay, that worked out much better. They're still thicker than I would like. They kind of smell like pancakes. I guess they kind of are. And maybe when they lose their moisture, they'll become a little more wafery. I'm going to look a little more into that. The trick is also not to putting too much of this on there to where it can't spread out anymore. I think I might feed the dog the extra stringy bits. Just like pancake. All this is edible. It's all food safe. Right, I'm going to continue with these, do the other two colors, and shove these in the oven. I might try. I don't want to burn them, so I might try something lower, maybe 300 or 250. And just keep testing them and see when they get, you know, really crispy. All right, we are back in the sewing room, and we're going to try out all the stuff. So I wrote some quick letters. Um, when I say quick, it maybe took me 10 minutes to do them all. Learned I'm not very good at staying on the lines anymore, uh, which I used to be good at that, but they all slant slightly. I got better with the last one, but um, apparently this is something I need to practice quite often. I figured we can go ahead and try to um, close these with all the ways that we tried, with all the um, ways and colors and such. So I'm just going to fold this up. Okay. Let's try. I don't want to do the wafer for this one because this is not to a family member. I'm going to save the wafer for perhaps my brother. So I don't know if it's right for the 1830s, but I've been using a taper um, to kind of melt the wax. Let's try the yellow first. I'm going to just do it over here. Oops, it's going to turn into yellow black. That's not what I want. Okay, now it's getting clear. <laughs> okay, I really wasn't wanting to melt too well. Okay, that one didn't get quite enough wax. And it turned it fairly black. Let me try this again. Just this. And part of this is most likely user error. Something I will get used to slowly. Oops, that's not quite ready yet. So yes, I did have a seal made with Sarah's initials. Because why not? Oops. Okay, it stuck to the seal slightly, but that may have been, again, user error, but there is her initials on there. Again, with another one. So this one is a, uh, I guess I didn't write a morning letter, so I can't, it won't be correct to use the black, but these are just for show anyway, so. It'll be okay. At least the black one's already black, so if it turns it black, it's not a big deal. Okay. So 
No, the S showed up. The W did not. But that probably just wasn't enough wax. So we can always do this again. The fun thing about wax seals is you always just put more wax on and cover up a, a blotchy seal. If you can get the match to go. It worked pretty well. And the black does show up as Drew Black, so that is a good thing. Okay, this is the one to my husband. My husband lets use the, uh, the wafer. Oh, well, it's stuck to that side, but not the other. It needs to be held down for a little bit. I also wonder if I soaked them in water for a little bit, if they would really be sticky. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there and see what that does. Probably do others. This is sister-in-law. Well, a sister-in-law. This is my brother's wife. That's not quite enough, so let's try this again. It looks like it's staying blue. Might take a little bit to uh, dry because it's quite a bit. Okay. Is this there? Wafer is holding it down. So you can kind of see the seal. Which I was a little concerned about that. So, uh, it works. It's not ideal. They're still a lot thicker than I would like. Um, still not entirely sure how to fix that. Unless I made... I think one thing I might do next time is to really thin down that butter and make it super watery. And only pour a little bit in at a time. That one worked really well. I don't know if you can see it extremely well on the camera, but I put it in on the angle. I didn't put it on straight, but it worked. Okay, let's try that one again. Let's do brother can be green and then sister-in-law, and then my husband's sister can be red. It's like falling down the other side. Okay, thanks. Okay, there's definitely something to be said about getting that stuck first. Like the last one, the blue one had a little bit of wax stuck on it, so it like really stuck. But I got it on the straight that time. Let's use just a few cups of wax. Try not to catch the letter on fire here. Okay, that should be good. So hold that down, and then let's melt the rest of it. I don't know what else I should have added to make it not quite so runny, or maybe I should let it dry just a little bit so it's a little you know, more solid before I put the seal on it. That might work too. Next time I may add more of the color to the red and the green. But there are our letters all sealed up. I think blue turned out the best. Blue and black turned out the best. Yellow is fine as long as you don't, you know, turn it black with the fire on accident. But these two are a bit, um, a bit runnier than say even that one and the color isn't as thick so I should have definitely add more color to that. Um, this wafer actually seals pretty well, much better than I thought it was going to do. They are just thicker than I would prefer. But other than that, I think this is a success. I'm happy to use these um, in Loving History and use them up and then we'll try again whenever I do use them up and see what we can improve on next time. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video.